morning guys happy monday welcome back to vlog week four um i just thought i'd quickly update you that saturday we obviously went out for andy's birthday um desi's here every time i sit in this spot in my house to vlog desi has to come and sit next to me so yeah we went out for andy's birthday on saturday really good day he was really happy he loved all his presents are you okay darling um but yeah it was a really good day went out for a really nice roast dinner yesterday that was really nice today i i feel really like autumn -y today i've got my new little jumper on haven't bothered putting any eyeshadow on today and i was feeling like i wanted a really glowy face so i quite like how my makeup looks today it's not too heavy but quite fresh anyway i am heading off to home sense because last week i put on my instagram story that they'd stopped selling like my favorite candle sounds so trivial but it's like my favorite like autumn winter candle and just the smell of it really really makes me feel like it's christmas i mean i know it's nowhere near christmas not christmas it makes me feel like it's wintry uh, i just love the smell of it and I, I weren't able to get it last year and i was a bit gutted so i wanted to ask if anyone had any good recommendations anyway last night a girl messaged me and said i was at the home sense in nottingham and they had them in so i was like oh my god right i'm literally gonna go there first thing tomorrow take them all off the shelf so that is the plan i'm going to home sense just for my favorite candle so i'll take you with me and let's go get this candle i'm out i'm here with dion again as always Hello. i feel like it's the same content it's just us it's, in cars it's over just, and over it's just again. us in cars again and again <laughs> We've just been to Home Sense and it was very successful. Did you get any good recommendations of other candles when you put that on your story? You sounded so angelic then, like, did you get any other recommendations? <laughs> I have got a soothing voice. People tell me it you, all the time. You sounded so angelic. Do you know what people always say? Soothing me? voice? You know, people... Have you heard her when she said her what? Fucking yee, man! <laughs> people always... <laughs> turns into proper Geordie wench when she's had a wine. I'm soothing so, voice. That's what people say. People comment on my videos all the time. You've got such a calm, soothing voice. And I think I do when I talk like this, but then when I'm like angry. Then, um... Oh, yeah. So, yeah, I did receive some recommendations. A lot of people were saying the DW candles were good, which I smelled a few of. Really, really strong. Really, really nice. However, Peck Sniffs is still my number one. Mm. And. It was very successful. I ended up buying 13 candles. <laughs> She's not even being dramatic. I'm not 13. being. 13. We were, we were looking at them all on the counter and Dion was like, why don't we count them? So she held the bag for me. One. All peck sniff as well. Literally 13. 13 peck sniff candles. But my house is going to smell lush now it's all through so winter. Nice. And so, you won't have to go back and stock up. I exactly, think. I don't have to go back. And the thing is about home sense, you have to just grab it while it's there. Mm -hmm. Like we were saying, we've been the last few times we've been, it's been a bit rubbish. We haven't been able to get a lot. It's been empty the shelves, I think, yeah. the past couple of weeks. Well, it was good today. Mm. So we, so I got thirteen candles. Dee got a couple as well. Really nice autumny ones, like spice. Mm. Is it spiced apple you got? What I didn't end up getting that one because I didn't like the red packaging. Oh yeah, it was red. I got a really nice one that was in like a crystal. Thing yeah, with, like, a lid for the, like it's like more like a decorative piece actually, mm. but it does smell nice. Yeah. Um, and then I got a candle for Andy's birthday because yeah. he would have already had it. He's by already now, had so it. Say this. Nice manly um, candle. A nice manly candle for his desk. And I got. We got both we both got some truffle oil, which we keep talking about. We're so, so excited. excited. <laughs> so they sell truffle oil. So we are thinking we're going to make a nice truffle pasta, Honestly, which I think will be really really nice. I think that'll be so nice. So now. nice. So we're going to try and do that. But yeah, I'm actually really excited. And altogether, I ended up spending £80, which you got to think for 13 candles. Think, I was literally just saying this earlier. Me and Andy nearly went into the white company to buy their winter candle, like mm -hmm. their big one, which is £70. And yeah. I've just bought 13 for 80 quid. so... Absolute bag. I think I'm, I'm winning on the candles it's front. definitely... You are winning at life right now. And I won't be going back for any more. We're all... So me and Dee just sat here now. We've got a Costa. I feel like a bit of a traitor, I'm not going to lie. I know, I feel really we disrespectful. Are, we are basic Starbucks blogger bitches through and through. <laughs> like, we really are. But there's a Costa near home since, so we've got that. So I've tried their new, I don't know if it's new actually, but their white hot chocolate. I think it's new, I've never heard I've of it I've never before. seen it before. And what have you, you've had black Americano. Um, quite basic, I've just got a black Americano. So we're going to warm our souls 
and then we're gonna go out and shoot a few outfits mm -hmm. and then we're gonna have some lunch um we're gonna we're in town so i think we're gonna go to yo sushi yum we've never been together before we've never excited. been together to yo sushi so losing our yo sush virginity virgin <laughs> virginia Virginia. Where's Virginia? It's country oh. road. Oh, you're flashing red. <gasps> right, I'm gonna have to go because my camera's gonna die, but yeah, we're gonna shoot and then we're gonna have lunch. Mwah, love you. Bye. Bye. Right, I just quickly thought I'd show you what I actually got from HomeSense. Very successful trip, very happy with what I got. First up, I got some new tea towels. Our tea towels are just so raggedy and old. I wanted to treat myself to some new ones, so these were just these just came in a pack of two. Really, really nice quality. Um, and these were only $4.99 for two really nice tea towels. So I was really happy with those. Just got a couple of the really nice crisps. Honestly, I feel like the food section from HomeSense is so underrated. They have such good little gems like this. You know, if when you're having people around and you just want to serve something a bit different. Yeah, so I've got some jalapeno crisps and these sweet potato crisps um, with, that are like chili and lime flavour. Really nice. And they're not that bad for you as well. So, we got them. Also, I found this truffle oil called Just Truffle. So I'm really excited to use that in my cooking this week. I'd really like to do um, like a nice truffle pasta for lunch maybe one day. So very, very excited about that. And then I got a new hand wash and hand lotion for the kitchen. This is from Olivia Blake. Uh, the elderflower and bay leaf. Really, really love this flavour. Not flavour. <laughs> scent. Uh, smells really really nice and these were in like the really big versions I just find that I get through the kitchen um, The kitchen hand wash takes such a hammering because everyone that comes around washes their hands there um, And I'm washing my hands like three four times a day at the kitchen So so our hand wash goes down really, really quick So I bought these big ones and they smell lush and they were only $6.99 and that will last forever and then i don't think you're ready for this so the whole reason i went to home sense was to see if they had my favorite candles in store and they did so <laughs> i'm actually not even embarrassed by this i really stocked up on candles i won't be going back to home sense now for about two years i think i've got enough candles to last me but honestly these scents are just insane so this Oh, hi there, just seeing the little reflection. So this is my favorite um, Peck Sniffs candle ever. Frosted pine and juniper. You can only get it in like autumn, winter. Couldn't get it anywhere last year. And because it's a uh, limited edition, I thought, oh my God, that's it. They're not selling them anymore. And then a girl sent me a message on Instagram. I said, they've got some in. So I bought a few. So I got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven of them. So some of them came in these boxes and then I got these two little ones as well. So I'm fully stocked up on my favourite fragrance. So I'm really, really happy with that. I got these, which are new. I've never seen these in Home Sense before. So these are all Peck Sniffs candles, by the way. I genuinely think Peck Sniffs are one of the best brands of candles that you can get from Home Sense. Their candles fill the room. You know, sometimes you'll have a candle on for a couple of hours and it just kind of smells like burning. It doesn't really have much of a fragrance. These are so strong, but in a really, really nice way. They just fill the house. Like I'll put one on in the living room. You can smell it upstairs. I absolutely love it. So anyway, these are new. So I went for this one, um, Cool Citrus and Woody Spice. Smells really, really lovely. And then this one, which smells very similar to my favourite, which is why I got it, um, but I had them obviously. These are the big versions. So these have three wicks in them, which I really like for in the living room. So I got a couple of big ones. And then these little ones, I really liked to put on my sideboard. So if you can see there, I've got just two little candles either side of the speaker there. So I thought, autumn winter put these two either side just for a really nice fragrance in here and these ones were the bergamot eucalyptus and precious woods flavor 
not flavour, scent. I'm not eating my candles. And that is everything that I bought today. Good morning, guys. Today is Tuesday and I went back to the gym today. First time since pre pre-corona times. It was hard. Like it was it was weird. It was really, really quiet, understandably. Um the way they'd done things was you know, you had to leave a machine free next year. So there were some machines that were like completely out of use. You obviously had to wash your hands when you got in there, left, you know, clean everything down as you should do anyway, after using something at the gym. But it was quite like vigilant about cleaning things after you use stuff. Um, but no, it felt nice to be back. It felt like a bit more normal, um, which was nice. But yeah, it was hard. I didn't, I didn't go there for a very long time today. I literally went, did a, um, a little run to warm up and did some abs and came home. But it was nice easing myself back in. Do you know what I mean? It wasn't, wasn't too stressful. Anyway, you might remember in last week's vlog, I said that we were going out for Andy's birthday over the weekend. Well, today is his actual birthday. So he's still at the gym. I mean, we go to a different gym. He's still at the gym. Um, he's not left there yet. Um, so he, think, he thinks I forgot about his birthday cake and things like that because there hasn't been one in the house. Usually he'd see it in the house by now. But we do have a little cake here waiting for him. And birthday card from Desi. I do not call my boyfriend daddy. <laughs> we always get each other cards from Desi. Desi obviously chose it herself, didn't you? Did you choose Daddy's birthday card? <laughs> I've got Stevie Wonder happy birthday on standby on there for when he walks in. So I'll leave you set up somewhere so you can see when he walks in. <laughs> because it's just been one of those days um yeah sorry i've not really vlogged yesterday but it was andy's birthday so i'll pop in anything that i do have but yeah it was just a day for me and andy really and i don't think it's really fair on him if i'm just constantly there with a camera in his face do you know what i mean so i didn't really vlog a lot yesterday but we did go out for some really nice food in the evening um, we went to, I think it's pronounced Ginza or Ginza, one of the two, but it's basically like a, a Japanese like tapenyaki place, really, really nice food. And today I have just been filming all day, but it's just been one of those days where, you know when you know you've got a lot of stuff to do, but you end up just doing it really, really slowly. Like, it's not like I've been procrastinating because I've not been doing anything else. I've just been moving at an absolute snail's pace. I think I've really lacked. I think I've lost my mojo a bit today. I don't know what's wrong with me. I just felt a bit bleh all day. But I've done what I needed to do. I've just filmed a, like, favourite autumn jackets, haul, not haul, video thing. So I'm still, I'm sat in there. I filmed it in the living room as well because in the spare room where I usually film, we're actually going to change things in there we're going to completely gut it out basically and really do it so that it's a bit more functional because at the moment there's just firstly it's carpeted me and makeup and trying on things shoes carpets it just doesn't it's not a good combination so we're just gonna have a bit of an overhaul in there so for now i'm filming in my living room which is where i used to film so i'm back in the living room for now but yeah today's been a little bit of a struggle so i'll just quickly show you what it's looking like so when i say i have to rearrange my house to film i'm really not joking that is usually where my sofa sits which has now been shoved up into the corner of the room so basically we move the sofa over there so that i can stand up against that wall i've got my lights shining at me my rail and so i really like how it looks when i film in here but Obviously, as you can see, it's just a bit of an aftermath. I'd really love 
a room eventually where I can just film in there and have the setup there constantly. But obviously in this house it's just not going to be that way so I need to put the house back in order. I'm just going to stand here in front of the lights because it's the best place to stand in the house right now because the sun's shining. Why is the sun shining when I'm buying coats and jackets? Why? Because it's been one of those days where I've kind of lost my mojo with things. I'm really craving just something naughty to eat you know i mean i know that's not good you know when you just need that naughty dinner to make yourself feel a bit better that's how i'm feeling i really just want a mcdonald's i really want a mcdonald's but i'm not gonna have one i'm gonna be good i'm gonna stay strong i'm not gonna have one i've got food in the house i don't need one so we're not gonna have a mcdonald's how can i take your order oh yeah can i get um a double cheeseburger with and then two, uh, one large Coke and one regular Coke, please. Anything else? Uh, no, I think that's it, thank you. Next you know you read it. One. Thank you. Mm. Guys, the sour cream and chive dip is where it's at, at McDonald's, by the way. Oh my God, oh my God. Mm. Sometimes, McDonald's is just what you need. I thought you didn't want to be in this vlog. No, Andy I don't said, want to be videoed, innit? Andy said he doesn't want to be featured in this eating at McDonald's, so you're just going to hear him in the offset. Yep. But just know he's here. I don't and exist. He's and he's stuffing his face next to me. No. Yeah. <laughs> don't show me. A mukbang. We're gonna... <laughs> muk is it a mukbang? It is a mukbang. <laughs> I thought we were going to do a mukbang on the vlog now. No. We're doing that on my vlog. Oh, I'm gonna so have to head over to Andy's vlog to see that. Guys, I'm actually a um, pretty famous influencer myself. I mean, you don't, you, you probably don't follow my page. Him and his 150 followers. <laughs> right, we're gonna carry on eating this and then we're gonna go home and pretend it never happened. Guys, me and Andy were just chatting about YouTube and Andy was just going through the list of who he subscribed to on YouTube. I don't even know who subscribed to anyone. Who you subscribed to, babe? Patty Mayo. Yeah. Nelk. Nelk Boys. Drama Alert. Linus Tech Tips. Mm. Roman Atwood Vlogs. Mm. Airac. Nico Millar. PewDiePie. Static John. James Charles. Jack Mate. James Charles? <laughs> I like why, James Charles. Why are, you, why are you subscribed to James Jamie Charles? Jamie Genevieve. Hang on, why James Charles? He adds a little bit of that sass into my life. <laughs> I'm joking, I don't know why I subscribed. <laughs> I wasn't aware you like watching makeup videos, babe. Are you and James Charles friends? I can't say, I'm, I'm under NDA. I'm still coming to terms with the fact that you're- Manny MUA. <laughs> Manny MUA, James Charles. Are Katie. you something you're not telling me? Katie and Desi Perkins. Well, Katie and then Desi You're subscribed Perkins. to a lot of beauty guru. Also today, guys, the Kardashians announced there is no more keeping up with the Kardashians. Who the hell are we going to keep up with? Keeping up with Cole. <laughs> Absolutely good. 2020, you can just do one. I've had enough. Good morning, everyone. Today is the first day that it actually feels really, really cold. Like, I've got my jumper on. This one's from, this one's last year, by the way, from Zara. Um, I really love it. But anyway, yeah, today it feels so like, not wintry, but definitely cold. So today I need to film a video for Misguided as part of a collab. And I just thought I'd show you what goes into that, to be honest. I thought, well, I'll put a poll on Instagram and asked if that's something you'd be interested in, if, if it's something you'd want to see. And like 98, 99% of people said, yeah, go for it. So I want to show you exactly what goes into doing a video, a bit of behind the scenes of like a collab and then, yeah, just show you what happens really. Okay, so I'm just on my laptop now. Um, they've sent me over, so Misguided have sent me over a brief of what they'd like this video to be. So the video that I'm doing with Misguided, it's basically five ways to style one shirt. Um, so obviously as part of the brief, I need to do five outfits, all of them including the one same shirt. So I've gone ahead with Misguided and I've chosen all of the clothes that I'm going to film. So I've chosen one, it's basically like a plain white shirt. And then I've just chosen other 
clothes just to make up five outfits basically and I've kept it quite kind of autumn style so there's like layering there's jackets there's coats there's one more dressy outfit as well so there's five really good outfits but they're all a bit different so when it comes to working with a brand you do you know you get to choose the items that you want to wear either that be in a video or a post I will never ever work with a brand if they are trying to make me wear something that I wouldn't usually wear or if they are really really picky and you know it's nine times out of ten a brand won't be like that they won't just say okay we just want you to wear this t-shirt for example but you do get them every now and then right I'm going to film this now so I'm going to show you what that entails right and in the living room I really like to film up against this wall in front of these two prints just because it's a nice kind of plainish background obviously not when the sofa's there but it's quite a plain background to film up against and there's a lot of room from here to there so it just means I've got a lot of room for all like the lights to go around me I'm not boxed in too much I still get some of the light from outside but what that basically means is I need to put my sofa here all the way up there Plus Desi's little living room bed. Such a sport dog. Does anyone else's dog have more than one bed throughout the house? It's ridiculous. She's got one here, her normal one in the kitchen, and one upstairs in the office. Like, why? She has three beds. Why don't I get three beds? Anyway, so now for the process of moving the living room around. Just like that, the living room is back to normal. So I've just taken my makeup off, hence why my face is looking a bit red, so I've just cleansed my face. Now I'm going to light the candles, make it all nice and cosy in here. I'm going to go and get myself a glass of wine. Andy's started dinner, the absolute hero. We're having a chicken pie tonight. Nice hearty meal, so I'm excited about that. So I'm going to go and get myself a glass of wine, light the candles, get cosy and edit this video. Mm -hmm. 